Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm here to share with you a new mini album that I have created. I know it's been a hot minute since I've recorded, and that is because my webcam crashed when my Windows 10 updated. So I went out and I purchased a new one, and just so you know, it is a Logitech C920, and let's see how it does. This is the first time I'm using it, so let's get started and let me share my album with you. First of all, this is a mini album pattern I purchased from Paper Phenomenon, and this is called the Full Disclosure, and I will be listing this for sale if you are interested in purchasing it. And let's take a quick walk through of it. So let me give you some measurements first. So it measures about eight and a quarter wide, and the height is about seven and a quarter, and the depth on it is just under three and three quarters. The paper lines, I used a few different paper lines and I'll link them all down below in the description box for you. So on this here, it has a pocket on the front. Now I made this pretty similar to how Kathy made hers. I did make a few adjustments on it. I just didn't want to limit it. Like I think hers may have had like a beachy theme or birthday on it and I didn't want to make it um, too themed like that. So I didn't add any of those particular things to it. And I'm just adjusting my controls real quick. Just to see, because this is new, I'm playing. So bear with me if it looks off or anything. So to get started on it, the pages come up. These are, let's see. So I did put these on with repositionable tape. So when you do receive this, you would just remove the white photo mats and instead replace it with your photos and they do come off so they're, they're meant to come off like that so there is a pocket right here on the front where you can add some photos and then of course to keep the cover closed as you saw just like that which is the theme throughout most of the album like that so let's just give you a side profile of it real quick and I am looking a little gray. Hold on, let me see if I can adjust something here. Just bear with me. I know I am learning on this. It looks a little dark, but we'll just let it go for now. This is just a test video anyway. Hopefully, if you see this going up, then I did something right because it's new software and it's always so confusing. So it opens up like this and there's a little box right here so you can add all kinds of photos and stuff. It does have a magnetic closure as you can hear. And let's do it this way. So it opens like this. The center, there is a pocket. And let me get a card to show you. So it does have a pocket here to store photos and stuff. And let's close it open. Let's see. Try it this way. All right, so on the front, there is a pocket as well. Lots of pockets on this. And then over here, just like the front cover, let's see if I can open it up. Again, little photo mats to add your photos. This here flips up. Lots of room for photos. And again, a pocket. And then this way, um, you can either add a photo here, leave the pretty paper, it's entirely up to you. And then over here, there is a magnetic closure opens up and then there's room to go ahead and add photos and stuff in here like this and then when you close it up they won't fall out so lots of room there for photos you can also add a photo here if you wish room for photos again another wonderful pocket that you can lift up and add photos to and held together or held closed rather just 
by this little pocket here. And then over here is a pocket. And then there's also a pocket right here and a pocket here. And this is what helps keep it closed together. I am going to, you will notice, I'm going to cut off a little bit of this and then re-ink it because when I put it on, I forgot about the flap, so it does get a little smushed under it. So that is going to get a little whacked off. And then over here, pockets for photo mats. And you could add more than one. I just put one in, but you can add what you want. And then it just starts over again. So let's just take a quick walk through. See if I can pull it down. There we go. Opens like this and this. And then again, once you attach your photos, when you replace your photos here with these photo mats, you'll be gluing your photos down. So then it will slide in much easier. Right now, if you pull them, a lot of times these white photo mats um, will pop off. It's just because I use repositionable tape because they're not meant to be permanent. See if I can zoom in a little bit. Maybe that you can see better. Opens like that again. Another pocket. The paper is really pretty. I'll make sure I write it in the description box as to what paper it was. And again, a pocket here, and then this is where it stays closed. And then the little photo mats. It's a neat idea to do it this way. Then you don't have to worry about all the magnets and stuff. And it looks so cute. Let's see if it's catching on. My photo mats. Yep, because now it's sliding right off. Let's see. There we go. Just trick it. And then open up here. And then the last one room for photos and that will hold a full that's six and a quarter so it will hold full four by six photos up there if you wish and then the last one with the pocket here and the one to keep it closed and then I already showed you this one and then to close it up just close the box down and just like that Anyway, thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully this video works out and you will see it. And click the like button, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. And until next time, happy crafting guys. Bye.